good old Yu-Gi-Oh! The modern game is pretty fun, and so is progressing through all the old competitive formats. But that's not really how a lot of people experience the game, is it? Now, for me, nothing beats the chaotic excitement of Playground Yu-Gi-Oh!, where the ban list is whatever your friends don't like, and the decks are all barely functioning jank. Here on this show, that's what we're gonna try and recreate. I'm Hardleg Joe, and each episode, me and MBT will open 75 packs, one from each core set. From each of those packs, we'll get to pick just one card to keep, and with those, we'll build our decks and face off in a best of three with dire consequences. The loser of each episode will get to ban one card of their choice and claim a few bonus packs for the next duel. The winner will get a shiny chaos coin. Nearly useless on its own, but the first duelist to ten coins wins the entire series. Each episode will get more packs, slowly growing our collections as we evolve from random caveman Yu-Gi-Oh! to more modern strategies and combos. And there may be a few bonus surprises along the way. <laughs> this is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Chaos Draft, Season 2. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Episode 3 of the Chaos Draft. I am Hardleg Joe, your host, joined once again by the Captain Ginyu of Yugi Tube, Mr. MBT Yu-Gi-Oh. Well, it's a step up from Richard Nixon. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, I am here, of course, with the Gerald Ford of uh, <laughs> deck building Hardleg, who has no one knows who Gerald Ford is. They're like, is he the car guy? <laughs> He's the guy who made the cars, right? <laughs> He's the guy who unceremoniously not only screwed over my deck, but also my last two weeks of pulls <laughs> by banning the rank four that I had been drafting and building around. So we're going to have you a very welcome. interesting game today, Mr. Leg. Yeah, if you missed it last time, I banned Time Thief Redoer. So we're going to have some interesting pulls. We're going to have to deck build from scratch. And I actually did my deck building with chat, so it's kind of, it's not just me versus you, it's my chat versus your chat. <laughs> oh, God. Wow. Yeah, I know. It's like, I'm the USSR, and you're America, and we're about to enter a 30-year period of unrest because these games Hell will yeah. not conclude. I know our chats. They can't tell a win con from a hole in the ground. <laughs> Let's try to make this Cold War heat up. <laughs> as we go into the duel zone. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are, episode three, going to open some packs. And I'm actually doing this live on stream. I am emulating MBT, although I don't have the chat on screen because I'm not crazy. I'm, I, I, I cannot trust my chat. Although I am here because I'm showing everyone, I figured I'd give you a little behind the scenes, show you what it takes to do a chaos draft. Because a lot of people don't quite understand how, how tricky it can be, or how to get it done in a fast way. Because the way that the pack opener works is, uh, is kind of weird. You have to go back and forth, you can't chaos draft everything at once. So the way I do it, you go to, you go to Google, you open the, uh, the chaos draft pack opener, and then if you've got a mouse with this middle button, like this scroll button, a lot of people don't know, you can click on that, and it opens the link in a new tab. And what you need to do is do that 74 more times. So we've got the 75 packs, and then for the last one, I'm gonna click on that, and we're gonna go ahead and go to uh, the bonus pack for today, which is Dark Beginnings 2, but we'll get to that later. For now, now what we gotta do is scroll through every tab and pick one pack of each of the main sets. And if you're curious how I'm going between tabs without going up and clicking on them, that my mouse, because it's a gamer mouse, the scroll wheel can actually be hit left and right. And I've set that up to tab through the different tabs, specifically to make this more easy. So that, that's what you gotta do. It takes several minutes just to get set up. But once you do that, then it's a lot easier than like, click a pack, go back, find the other set, click another pack, etc., etc. So for those of you watching on YouTube, Winker's gonna just skip or fast forward through this. The rest of you here on Twitch, you're in for the long haul, baby. So here we are, Legend of Blue Eyes. After opening all those tabs, we can flip this up and we got a pot of greed. Hell yeah, stream luck. Cats in the chat. 
Pot of greed. And uh, people were asking, they're like, you don't have the pluses here. And it's like, I don't, I don't open in um, draft mode. I basically, you can't right click the packs to open them in different tabs, but you can open the cards in a different tab. So I actually have the next tab over, Pot of Greed, and I'll go through afterwards and save it. And that way, if I want to, if I like change my mind about a pack later on, or not later on, but like, you know, basically before I go to the next pack, I can come back and be like, oh wait, never mind. Sometimes I'll read the other cards or something like that and realize I made a mistake, but not this time. This time I'm sure it's Pot of Greed. Did you miss me? Get used to seeing this face in the winner's circle, folks, because I don't intend to leave anytime soon. After that embarrassing week one in which Comcast themselves intervened to prevent Hardleg's defeat, it was a whopping 2-0 in my favor last week. Not even close, baby. Truly, Hardleg has found himself outmatched by a superior opponent with much longer hair. Now, unfortunately, we're fucked. God, I hope we're a minute into the video here. If not, feel free to cut that line. Unfortunately, a lot of our pulls have been based around finding level fours or trap monsters specifically for Redoer. And then, Hardleg Band Redoer. So now we're saddled with a bunch of garbage cards that do nothing. A bunch of terrible rank fours that just summon other fours and no payoffs with which to use them. So that's what we're gunning for today. Another four monster in the extra deck that we can summon off of something like a Buzzsaw Shark effect. Now, keep in mind we have a couple of irons in the fire that I've been teasing for the last couple of episodes. We've got some things that require pretty high investment and won't be good for another couple of weeks until we can find the materials necessary for the payoffs, but the number one variant among those is Zodiac. We've got some really strong Zodiac extra deck monsters, but none of the good main deck monsters yet. I think just a Bunny Blast. Secondly, I'm looking for Cosmos. We've got two Cosmo pilots, and they're almost the best ones. I'm looking for ships this episode, or more pilots for a future Cosmo build. So, let's get started. Now, one thing that's really frustrated me, while our pulls have been very good on average, our pre-2016 ones have had dog shit anything in them. I'm looking for those broken spell traps that are the hallmark of sets like the Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. Here we go. And there's one right there, Gravedigger Ghoul! Oh my god! If you haven't read this, this is one of the most powerful cards in the game. You can select up to two monster cards in your opponent's graveyard and remove them from play! God, that's actually the pick. Fuck me. Pharaoh's Servant! Ooh! Cold Wave is banned from last season. I think this is a removal spell, right? When a monster is sent from the field to the graveyard, even during the damage step, target one monster on the field and destroy it. That's probably the best one we got here, right? Mizukuri? It's either that or Gust. I think Gust is like, when a card is destroyed, then you can destroy. Yeah, I have to have a spell card destroyed. I'm, I'm gonna go for this. This might actually be useful if we get some links. We're not picking any monsters from these early sets. Are, are you familiar with what types of monsters were released during this time? I'm talking Thunder Nyan Nyan is the most powerful card in the set. Holy shit, a moly. That's a snap take. Enjoy getting booked, buddy. Wow, that was good. Legacy of Darkness. And my phone went off. But we got another bottomless trap hole. I'm taking that. Why wouldn't I take that? Now we got two of them things. We got all the best traps at two. Okay, Light of Destruction. Last GX set, we have found zero playables throughout the entirety of GX. Can we change that with this set specifically? Oh, we can. Oh, there's some good fucking shit in here. Okay, all right. So Limit Reverse is a really powerful card, of course. A uh, great way to get cards back from the graveyard. Um, Volcanic Queen is kind of a kaiju. Uh, Lady in White is another piece of support for our Skull Servant deck. And Summon li Limit, of course, is a strong card as well. Um... I think I'm gonna get the Lady in White. We're playing the long game for Skull Servants. In 15 episodes, Hardleg is gonna have one very frustrating day that ends in him banning Skull Servant. The Duelist Genesis. Um, Turbo Booster is actually not bad. We got a Synchro and a Fighting Spirit. Let's see, what is this? Uh, okay, it's a generic Synchro. 
level eight, <coughs> which I still don't have any way to make. Uh, might be better. Either that or it's 300 for every monster your opponent controls. So at the most like a thousand and there's already better stuff. Turbo boosters, just when you normal summon, you could special summon this. You contribute this to destroy one monster your opponent controls that battled one of your monsters. So I can attack into something and then destroy it during that thing. Thought Ruler, you need extra deck cards. Okay, I was I was thinking about that anyway. Let's go ahead for, for Thought Ruler Archfiend. Storm of Ragnarok. There's got to be something good in here. Oh. Mm, uh, no, there's not. Uh, Cosmic Compass is like a funny card. It summons tokens. I think that's probably good provided we find links in the future, right? Photon Shockwave. We're in the Ixie era now. Show me an Ixie. We did not get an Ixie. We did get a Deep Dark Trap Hole, which uh, MBT has passed up, but this is actually pretty good. When a level 5 or higher effect monster is special summon, banish it. Very good for dealing with stuff like Pankratops, um, Divine Serpent Ga. I'm sure there are other ones. One Day of Peace is not good. Do not let anyone trick you into thinking that. It's only good in, like, stall decks, and we, we don't have Exodia. So I think we're going to go with Deep Dark Trap Hole. Literally nothing playable. Camera Clops is like the worst, the worst. Camera Clops is like the absolute worst construct in the world, but it is also a construct. I think we might do Camera Clops. Duelist Alliance. Let's make an alliance, chat. And, uh, ooh, the Monarch Storm Forth. Oh, but another White Prince. Um, fuck, one second. Let me look at my collection here real quick. I already have one white print, so that'll be two of them. Where the hell was I at? Yeah, so it's between adding another white print to maybe build a, um, a deck like that, a, uh, a, a white deck, or the Monarch Storm Forth so I could tribute his stuff. Everyone seems to be saying White Prince. Everyone wants the Prince. You're never using Storm Forth. I mean, I might. I, I picked a bunch of like five and six level monsters. I could do it. But uh, yeah, I think the White Prince, especially if we're trying to go for the zombies. It is removal. It's also a common and it's worth less than this, which makes me think this is less likely. So let's try it. All right, Duelist Alliance. This is the set that changed everything. So from here on out, I'm expecting the packs to get a lot better, all right? And already they are getting a lot better. What did I say, Chad? I needed a four to go into? Well, guess what, motherfucker? I just found one of the best. Into my deck it goes. Secrets of Eternity. Shh. Very quiet. We got a Jigobot. Another Unizombie. Oh, but Wall of Disruption. Oh, the choices that I must make. I'm making the zombie deck. I have two White Prince. And I have a Unizombie from last time. This would be the second Unizombie. Wall of Disruption is so good no matter what I do, though. Oh, uh, but yeah, I think I gotta go for the Unizombie. Unizombie is just like, if I happen to get any good zombies, this is like, good, and it's a tuner. It's a tuner that can make the level four so I can make my level eights. Yeah, we're, we're doing it. Secrets of Eternity was released in 2015. Among this set, <laughs> a second Unizombie. Well, I guess I gotta take it. Dimension of Chaos. We got the Duskbot Jet. Got a Radiant. Got a Wicked Witch. People say this is pretty good, right? During either player's turn, you can ban, uh, you can pay a thousand. Um, in case we ever get a Cosmo. Either that or the Kaiju. I think we want to go with the Wicked Witch. I think the Wicked Witch is cool. Yada, Monaco. We don't have a Yada. We, oh, I guess we do. A Magispector Yada. Witch, Witch. Yeah, let's go with Witch. We can get Cosmos later. There's no real reason to get Kaijus at the moment. And they're in, like, every set. Or not every set, but in a lot of sets. Engine of Chaos. Here we go. Whoa. Holy fuck. This is such a huge set. Oh, my God. All right. This is a really hard one. 
So obviously alligator is insane. But Samurai Cavalry of Reptier is extremely good. It is an 1800 attack, functionally just a straight up Stratos. It's also a three scale for pendulums. We also pulled Vector. Vector is really, really hard to pull. And if we ever find a Luster, Vector is necessary to play Draco Faceoff. So, as much as I want to pick some of this other stuff, I am being pulled in those directions. QB is so good, too. Oh, man, this is hard. It's just a question of if we want the payoff now or later. If we want it now, it's Alligator 100%. If we want it later, it's Vector, and I think the happy medium is Cavalry. I'm going to play the long, long game. We're going to go for Vector. Shining victory! Let's shine on this victory! Rise to full height! Rise to full height! So very good. If I get these, these uh, one things, you double its defense. Banish this, target a monster. They can't attack except for that one. I already have a 0-9, and I'm probably not going to play more than one of it. So I think we're going to go for the rise to full height. Bad aim is also cool. When your opponent's card or effect is activated, target one card on the field other than that card and destroy it. Oh, uh, what do you think, chat? Rise to full height or bad aim? Aim, aim. All right, everyone's saying bad aim. So if you don't like the fact that I'm not rising to full height this episode, you can blame the chat. All right, so we have made it into the modern era. Here we go. Breakers of Shadow. This was a huge set when it came out. And it's huge for me too. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I'll just be taking that one real quick. Well, hold up. Do we want to be playing Twilight Ninja Gantuka the Shogun? Let's just let's just walk through this. Do you think maybe the pick is Shirinui Style Synthesis? I'm thinking we could be picking Bad Luck Blast here. The Dark Illusion. Ooh, ah, Fairy Tale Snow. Yes, please. Dark Illusion. Oh wow. Yeah. Uh. So. Uh. Wow. Uh. I I know what the pick is, and you all are gonna lose your shit when you figure it out. Um, it's Scape Ghost. It's Scape Ghost. Did you know this summons four fucking tokens to your side of the field? Did you know that? All we need is a Link Monster, folks. And if they don't destroy the Scape Ghost, we could just make Halka Fibrax. Invasion colon vengeance. <gasps> Dino sewing. Oh. Or also, I guess the Aron, does this take plants specifically? Does this take, no, this is just anything. Um, if you gain life points, tar but I have to gain life points, otherwise it's just a 2,000. Um, sub terror Behemoth. Flip. Target set cards on the field equal to the number of sub terror Behemoths. It destroys specifically set cards, which is not good even in limited format. I can also take one of the Paleozoics. I don't know, Chad. It's, it's uh, Elodia. I'm not going to take Morella because that just sends one from the deck to the graveyard. Dino is awesome. Does Dino actually do anything? Can't be destroyed by battle. If it's targeted for attack, it gains a thousand. If this card attacked, the attack gain returns to zero. Huh. Interesting, but not really worth it. It's between Elodia, Rosemary, or the, the Subterror. Choose one or forever hold your peace. Fine, we'll go with the Subterrors. We are building Subterrors. It's not a water, but I can pretend it is. It's a sea serpent. So we'll do that. In maximum crisis. Now, this is this is where I'm looking to pull Zeus. So we're hoping for Dryden, of course. Broadbull would be crazy. But also the main deck Zeus are pretty important. Uh, ooh, Jesus Christ. Wow. Not good. All right, come on. Something crazy in this slot, please. 
I'm gonna take Phosphoro Glacier. Maximum crisis. We're almost to the end, I believe. We got another sub terror and a Zodiac. You pick a Zodiac. What does this one do? Flip, target a monster on the field, change it to attack position, and it fits its defense position. Also change its attack to zero. When a face up monster controls flip face down, you control no face up monsters. You can special summon this from your hand in defense position. Yeah. Probably gonna go with Stelia Geist. Uh, ooh. Indigo is a good fucking card, but I don't know if it's the pick here. It's just a dingus that we could sub it for free. Yeah, probably, probably still the pick. Raging Tempest. Eater of millions. Easiest choice I've ever made. Easy out of ten. Why else would I want anything else? Uh, Flames of Destruction. Here we go. God, I just need some more generics, dude. Come on. Great Fly is like a decent card in general. I think we actually are picking Great Fly because like if we ever go in on uh, insects, it's like a guy. Gergon's End. Soul Fusion. Fusion. Whoa. Pancratops. We got ourselves a Pancratops, baby. Pancratops is live. Welcome to the all Pancratops format starring me. Rising Rampage. I mean, we are getting there. Okay, um, some interesting stuff in here. We have, like, the beginnings of a frog deck. Uh, Coral Anemone is good. Uh, Voltester's funny. Defender of the Labyrinth is two normal monsters. Adhara is just very strong. Yeah, it's gotta be Adhara. Rising Rampage. Show me that Rampage, dragon. Nope, we're not getting it. We did get a couple generic links, though. And some stuff that I don't know what it does. And a Beat Raptor, which is always funny. Uh, two monsters with different names. If it's Link Summon, discard a card. During the end phase, add a Continuous or Field spell. I mean, it's a good generic. It only has a thousand, but I could make it. Shaman takes Worm Monsters specifically. During Damage Calc, if your Link Monster battles... Okay. Um, Defender of the Labyrinth. Two normal monsters... When your opponent draws a card by their own card effect, look at those cards, and if their monster inflicts damage equal to their combined attack, and if you do that, banish the card you looked at. Huh. But they have to draw, and I don't think uh, I don't think he has any draw power. Negate the effects of monsters in the extra monster zone. Which might be good if, if uh, MBT has any links. It's between those two, right? I'm either going to get the thing that stops links or the link. Which you guys think is better, Blocker or Raptor? Blocker, block. Okay, looks like Blocker is the winner. All right, Chaos Impact. Something good here, please. Wow. Uh. Hmm. Jelly Cannon is super strong. Time for Chaos Impact. Show me the chaos. Jelly Cannon. Now there is an interesting thing. We also got a Marincess. I'm not sure what it does, but we're trying to collect one. When a monster declares an attack, target a monster on the field, shuffle it into the deck. It's pretty neat. Um, during damage calculation, if a monster battles another monster, you could send another Marincess from your hand to the graveyard, special summon this card, and if you do, the damage you take is halved. At the start of the damage step, if your opponent's monster is attacked, you can banish this card from the graveyard, this turn, you take no battle damage that is less than or equal to the ranks of the... Uh, yeah, to level 5, it's that. It requires other things. I'm going to get the Jelly Cannon. We're just going to take the damn old Jelly Cannon. We're going to cannon some jelly our way into the, the, at the end of the nightmare. All right, we're also going to open 5 of Dark Beginning 2. I'm pretty sure this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, if not, uh, feel free to edit this footage out, baby. God, I hope I'm doing this right. God, I hope I'm doing this right. Oh, yeah. Next up. 
Okay, see, now this is this is a little more uh, what I was expecting. A bunch of fucking bullshit. Uh, I guess Pyramid Turtle is like the decent card. Nothing else in here is even remotely good, so uh, we'll go ahead and take that. Yo, is that Bazoo the Soul Eater? Whoa! What the fuck am I supposed to take here? I, wow, none of this is good. Son of a bitch. Dragmort is like the worst removal spell in history. I think it's actually Thunder Dragon. Yeah, I'm gonna get Twin Headed Thunder. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yes. All right, it looks like... Son of a bitch, how am I this good at Yu-Gi-Oh? How did I get this good? How the fuck did I get this good at Yu-Gi-Oh? Oh! <laughs> All right, one more pack. I, I honestly, I'll take anything. I'm, I'm not super picky at this point. Uh, you, you've done me well already. Uh, probably Jaugen is the pick here. I don't, I don't really give a shit about any of this other stuff. Okay, so that does it for the main set. And now we're opening Dark Beginnings 2 is our five bonus packs. Remember, every episode we pick one reprint set, like a mega set. And we get five packs of that. That way, we can get some of the rarer cards that aren't appearing in the normal packs. And fun trivia fact, uh, MBT was actually supposed to pull uh, Legendary Collection 4, I think. It was like Joey's World packs. But uh, he lost the message that I sent to him, and I was asleep when he was pulling. So he just assumed it was Dark Beginnings, and we're rolling with it. We'll do Joey's World next time. So let's see what we get here. Flip the cards. We got a uh, blast with chain. It's pretty neat. Zombira the Dark. Um, but I think blast with chain is probably the one we do, right? Like it's just to target a monster and it gains 500 attack. Nothing else really all that interesting. Someone saying spiritualism. They are. It's removal. Is it? Return one spell trap your opponent controls to the hand and it can't be negated. I don't think that's very useful. We have better spiritual... Yeah, we're just going to take Blast with Chain. So there's pack number one. Pack number two. Wacha. We got... Book of Life for our zombies. Hell yeah. Taking some zombie stuff. We'll get that. It's a super rare card. Going to number three. Wacha. Dark Dust Spirit. Ooh, or Horn of Heaven. What are we... This This I need to tribute a monster for, right? When a monster would be summoned, tribute a monster, negate the summon. A good thing... I think we want the Dark Dust Spirit. It's one tribute. I have some special summon stuff. It blows up everything. And if I could somehow get this and my, um, my tuner on the field, I can then make a synchro. So let's go with the Dark Dust Spirit. That's one, two, three. Okay, we're opening pack number four. Hoo-ha! Um... The Dark Door. Super Rejuvenation. These suck, man. I don't want any of these. Super Rejuve is for dragons. I do have some dragons. I don't think I really tribute or discard any of them at the moment, but... It'll be good for the future. Better than anything else. Okay, last one. Let's see if we can get something broken out of this. Needle Sealing. Needle Sealing is a field wipe. It is a board wipe, especially since I'm building fucking uh, sub-terrors and I have all the face down ones. I'm not taking Gemini Elf, shut up. <laughs> We're gonna go with that one. And then of course, because I lost last time, we get bonus packs. And uh, if you're not in the chat, you don't know, but I've actually had the people on my Discord Pick which bonus pack I'm going to be opening. They've had a poll. And if you're curious about my Discord, it is for the patrons. If you donate $1 or more on my Patreon, you can get on the Discord. I put very few ads on my channel. So if you like the content, if you want to help, uh, like, have some input on the shows, consider dropping me a dollar or, or maybe more dollars. There's a bunch of rewards. The link is down in the description. Patreon.com slash Gaming. And with that out of the way, let's see. It looks like Maximum Gold was the winner. 
This has a bunch of generic staples and also a bunch of zombie related stuff. So let's see what we can do. Maximum gold, we get three packs of this. So pack number one. Oh boy. Oh, is this a choice? Oh shit, is this a choice? Ash, Imperm, lose one turn. I don't think the lose one turn. I think in this set, I think in this format rather, in perm is the better choice because you're not going to have a whole lot of searching if so it's not i mean it could stop him from summoning the world shield out of the deck it's that but in perm is just all around a better card so we're going to take the in perm there's pack number two Why do they gotta make the choices so hard? A Super Poly, we don't have anything we can summon with Super Poly. If we get a Dryden't, then any Zodiac, any normal, I don't think we have any Zodiacs yet, but if we get one, all we have to do is get one common Zodiac and we can go into Dryden't. The other thing is Called by the Grave. Uh, granted, Called by the Grave is I think a common in another one. Dryden't has to be, yeah. We're gonna go for a Dryden't. I'm not sure if we could use it. I'm feeling kind of bad we didn't get the Cataroost earlier, but we'll, we'll find a way to do that now that we have Dryden't. Um, and finally, pack number three. Oh, this is such a good set. Thank you, chat. We're gonna go with the Monstery board. It's kind of tempting to get this. This is a common in another set. We do have the water though. Searching any tuner, or does it have to be a specific kind? I think it has to be a specific, like a Synchron tuner, but can't turn down the Monster Reborn. So yeah, awesome pack, awesome set. And I guess while, I he while I'm here, I did want to mention me and MBT were talking about perhaps making another rule where once you open a pity pack, you can't open that same one again. It'll stop us from just picking the best reprint set over and over again. But it also means we can't, like, try to use the main sets to fill out our, our archetype. Let us know down in the comments which one you think is better. Either way, I'm gonna get to deck building, and we'll see what I come up with. Ah, the first of many W's for the most powerful duelists to ever grace the halls of the Chaos Draft. That said, I'm not particularly confident about this one. Uh, we spent the last two weeks drafting for Redoer exactly, and it turns out strategizing around a card that Hardleg can ban with a stroke of his L is not a particularly good strategy long term. We were taking pretty much any four that showed up while Hardleg was taking cards that work together. This is going to be a rough one, but we did pull a lot of bombs, specifically prior to the GOAT era, that might help us go over the top of what Hardleg's packing. Now, I got Gavin on the phone for this one. That is Gavin of Progression Playoffs fame. And we theorized a control deck that used Burning Land and Toll as a win con. Uh, but then in testing, took out the Toll and the Burning Land because it was generally just better to play a glacially slow control deck that ends by depleting your opponent's resources and drawing into something like Raigeki, Heavy Storm, Levianir. A uh, little more likely to happen than a Burning Land kill. So, if this looks like a random assemblage of cards, mostly it is, but there are some synergies in here that might make it worth playing. We've got Levianir, still the hallmark of the deck, really, really strong card. Indigo Eclipse is a generally big boy. World Shield is a premier defensive option, but Patrician of Darkness is not far behind. We can use Patrician, which we summon off of Pyramid Turtle, to redirect attacks into World Shield or Spirit Reaper, borrowing from Gavin's strategies from Prague. We've got Cosmol Wicked Witch, Fairy Tale Snow, Sure the Blue Flame, Cosmo Good Witch, all just generally good four star monsters. Mecha Phantom Beast Tetherwolf is a uh, suspect inclusion right now. Uh, we do have a Genius and we do have a Bladefly. You can make both of those monsters, which is probably fine. Camera Clops sucks. It's a bad Shadow Construct, really situational, but it's also a light monster you can summon off of Shining Angel, and we need those for Chaos Dragon Levianir. Speaking of, we're on the Recruiters. Mystic Tomato and Shining Angel don't know how good these are. They were great back in the day, but uh, modern card design is a little different than Battle Phase Destruction. We've got Pyramid 
Pyramid Turtle, Gale the Whirlwind, Spirit Reaper, Night Assailant, Crawler, Axon, Cosmic Compass. This was a big pickup. This summons tokens equal to the number of monsters your opponent controls. If our opponent controls two, we can use the tokens to go into a Cleaf or Genius because they're machines. Then the tokens and the compass to go into a Berserker of the Tenyi. If they have three monsters, we could do that without wasting our compass. We've got a Cyber Valley just draws cards, maybe puts cards from the graveyard back on top of the deck. If I have huge blowouts, I want to go for repeatedly. And Scape Ghost, which is a really strong tool for getting a bunch of tokens to your side of the field for link summons, though jumping through a couple of hoops is going to be required to make anything competent. We don't have generic link monsters that can be made with tokens yet. For spells and traps, not a lot to talk about here. Raigeki, Nobleman of Extermination. I know hard legs on two copies of Torrential after watching last week's episode. Heavy Storm, Hammer Shot, Metamorphosis, Graceful Charity, Double Book of Moon, and United We Stand. Chad told me to cut it. I'm not going to do it. For traps, we're on Rocket Hand, Punch in the Box, Quaking Mirror Force, Jelly Cannon, World Reassembly, Paleozoa, Calusagenica, Phoenix Wing Windblast, Crackdown, Gravity Vine, Seven Tools, Solemn Strike, and the Extra. We can make every single one of these cards. Thousand Eyes Restrict is now playable. We have enough ones that we can consistently metamorphose into this bad boy. Samurai Destroyer, of course, is very strong. Psychic Life Transfer gains us life sometimes. Actually, that's a lie. I don't think I'm playing any Psychics. Orient Dragon maybe will come up. Castell was a huge pickup, but doesn't win the game on his own the way Redoer would. Zodiac Hammer Kong maybe unclears our zones. Herald of Pure Light. Paleozoic Opabinia we can technically make. We even have a target for Opabinia. Berserker of the Tenny is going to be our way to get over our own Gravity Bind and is trivially easy to set up in this deck, though it's not much of a win condition. 3k on a vanilla. Ugh, dies to everything. Cleafor Genius is decent, but necessary for a lot of laddering. Halka Fibrax we can make and technically can ladder into a Berserker of the Tenyi, but I don't really want to do so. We only have two tuners in the deck, and we want to be summoning them through other means. Proxy F Magician is very important. Really, he's, he's extremely important. We've got Great Fly and Gravity Controller. And finally, Predaplant Dragostapelia. So, you can technically make this card. If we summon enough monsters to link into Proxy F Magician, then we metamorphose a token into a Thousand Eyes Restrict, we can use Proxy F Magician's fusion effect to fuse the Thousand Eyes and one dark monster into Predaplant Draco Stapelia. See, it, it's necessary, I'm telling you. Or we can just metamorphose from a Levianir. In the side deck, we've got Despair if Hardleg's on some hand loop bullshit. Uh, Gap if he's on like flip monsters or Pac Man. Uh, Heratic Dragon of Tef Nuit. This is kind of Cyber Dragon and will be coming in when we're going second. Des Wombat to stop Hardleg from dealing effect damage to us. Jaugen in case we need to destroy a bunch of special summoned monsters. Maron in case we start making it to deck out and need a way to never lose those games. Soul Release, Giant Trunade, Herald of the Abyss, Book of Eclipse, Self Destruct Button, Macro Cosmos, X2, Royal Oppression, and Shadow Imprisoning Mirror. So, not feeling fantastic. But we do have a lot of the bombs that could blow hard leg out of the water. I think these games are going to be very close. And if they're not, I think we're going to be losing them. All right. And here is what me and chat have managed to come up with. Surprisingly, it does not contain enough dragons or enough waters or enough zombies to do any of those strategies. Despite aiming very broadly, our main engine is actually the sub-terror engine. We've got the Guru that can flip itself and other stuff down and then flip itself back up. We've got the One Negate in Fiendus, but it can also summon these other sub-terrors that this one's removal, this one is a bunch of attack. And so hopefully we're gonna be using these as boss monsters while stalling with this. We are still playing the Unizombies, even though we have no other zombies. Basically just to pitch a card, make itself level four, and then this with like a Guru or any other of our level fours can make our Draco Berserker or the Thought Ruler Archfiend. And that's why we're playing stuff like uh, Escher the Frost Vassal or Scales. These can both special summon themselves for free. These two, like not really special summon for free, but they're level fours that can stay on the field or come back onto the field so that we can potentially use them. We've also got the one other um, level four tuner in Scrap Beast might also work with this. Oh yeah, and one-time passcode is also a free level four. So hopefully between all that sort of stalling, we're going to be able to make a boss monster. We've got this engine to slow down and make big monsters. Oh yeah, Stungray with Unizombie. This can stall because it's not destroyed by battle. And then this doesn't have to discard. It's just a five and a three. So we can make our, we can make our things that way. So that's like the main strategy. And then everything else is still just staples. We're still in like, DM rules where you have like 
20 cards that do something, or not even that, like 10 cards that do something. And then just everything else is like, Pankratops, overall good. This is a Cyber Dragon. This wipes the field. This wipes the field. This steals a monster. This is free removal. Card pop. Recycles one of our many traps. Um, gets rid of stuff in the graveyard. Gets rid of any, any, basically outs any monster. And the same thing with our spell traps. We have like free monster, free monster, spell trap removal. I don't even know what this card does, but I know it's good. More graveyard hate because I know that uh, MBT has both a snow and that shield he keeps trying to work. And then this is just monster removal, monster removal, monster removal, negation, removal, 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 removal. Everything that's removal. So you're looking at this and you're like, yeah, this doesn't seem very good. You've got slow flip monsters and a couple bosses. But the idea is hopefully we can use this removal to keep him off of stuff. And then just just get enough of an, an edge that we can make our big boss monsters. Um, nothing else in here is really summonable. We have a couple links. We're not really going to be making them. We could make Ausa because we have some earth monsters. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the deck. The side deck is mostly just spell trap hate. That's the one thing I'm worried about is he's going to have a whole bunch of spell traps. And honestly, I'm kind of hoping he has some like continuous traps. Maybe like a royal decree or a... One of the other royal, imperial, whatever. Because then I can just trap eater it and there's another level four tuner. So that's my strategy. May not be the best strategy, but I think it'll be interesting if nothing else. We'll have an exciting back and forth duel. And if you're looking at the timer and it's like very short after this, I apologize. I, I tried, I tried, but sometimes plans don't work out the way you want. All right, here we are. The Battle of Legends begins. Ironically, my, my sleeves are from my upcoming uh, Trap Monster deck, which does have Time Thief Redoer on them. Oh, cool. So he's here in oh, spirit. Oh, so it's cool when you play Redoer, but when someone else tries <laughs> to tap into the excellent power of the Time Thieves, oh, well, that's just a little too much for our fun little casual show, huh? I mean, look, I just realized I'm ahead of the TCG, all right? Oh, I yeah, banned yeah. Redoer before it's a problem. Mm -hmm. They're going to get to it eventually. <laughs> Once they realize how strong trap monsters are. Once you break the format, of course. Yeah. Did you did you realize trap monsters got, like, a, a monster that's essentially solemn judgment? Yeah. Um, like, it can negate summons? They can, uh, they can put whatever they want on a trap monster, and it will still never be good. <laughs> I think the historic only ones that were ever playable really have been Eldlich and Paleozoic, and those kind of stretch the definition of what trap monsters are. I'm pretty sure Statue of Anguish Pattern saw some uh, competitive play in 2002. It saw some play. I don't know if I would have called it competitive. <laughs> All right, uh, I don't know. I guess I'm going first. Uh, my deck sucks this time. It's missing all of the explosive plays that I'm sure we will get to see, but I, I think I do still have to do it. Oh, God, and immediately punished. All right, uh, I'm going to set <laughs> to and pass my turn. All right, you ready for something exciting? Lay it on me, buddy. I'm going to activate Pot of Greed, which allows me to draw two cards from my deck. Judge? <laughs> what the fuck? You have Pot of Greed? I pulled it out of the LOB, the original pack. First one, baby. Oh, well, enjoy that, because when I lose this game, that shit is going to the annals of history. <laughs> oh, my God. And to, if you ban Pot of Greed, then what will you have to pull out of LOB? Like, nothing. Then that entire pack becomes useless. Oh, unlike now. Oh, now it's just so powerful. Well, son of a bitch, there goes my jelly cannon. And yours as well, idiot! Woo! Fuck. All right, let's see. You're let's playing do fucking you're Metamorphosis on. and Pyramid. What? Hard you know night. what? I'm not going to look. I'm not going to look. We're going to be fine. Okay, both of our jelly cannons are gone. <laughs> Hard leg, is that? The important part. Is that an know to infinite okay. impermanence I see in your deck? Uh, I mean, if you're looking at it, it might have been. Mm. Possibly. Oh um, my god, you're just straight up playing Subterror! Son <laughs> of a bitch! You've got the entire archetype in here! Oh no, and that's one guru? Well, I know what you're gonna be setting, asshole. Oh, uh, possibly. God. Oh, you're still looking at my deck, I oh, see. Oh, I'm taking it all in, baby. Oh no, two guru, <laughs> you got the Pankratops. Fan-fucking-tastic. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Okay. So I could I could set a guru. I possibly could. 
Um, but I think instead I'm going to activate one-time passcode. Okay, well, more like one-time ass code. Yep. Going to, uh, normal summon Unizombie. Okay. I'm going to activate... Um, oh, I could do this without discarding a card. Okay. I'll increase my level by one. Okay, still with you. And send the other Unizombie. <laughs> yes, very powerful card, of course. Oh, uh, let's see here. Now, what do we want to do? You know what? I think we're going to go for this one. It has more attack. We're going to make Draco Berserker of Tenyi. <laughs> so I saw this lurking in your extra deck last time. This is a good ass fucking card. And only zombies can attack. Yep. So I'm going to end my turn <laughs> and not be able to do anything. I was going to say. Uh, okay. I managed, I managed to make it, though. So I'm going to begin with that. Crawler Axon. Uh, let's pop this set card, if you're willing. Um. Let's see. Yeah, we'll go ahead. Okay, banish my monster. Now, thankfully, that's not a negate, so I will get the torrential here. And, uh, yeah. buddy, you're about to feel the sting of 2002. I'm going to normal summon Cyber Valley. <laughs> and then... Oh boy, how exciting. I'm going to Metamorphosis. <laughs> Come to the field! <laughs> My 1,000 eyes restrict! Well, All right, now fuck. give me your monster. Doesn't that just shit my pickle? All right. I should have saved it. I was like, I just banish your crawler, and then you can't make any Link 4s. I didn't expect you to... I saw a metamorphosis in your deck. I didn't think you had two of them and a thousand eyes restrict. Uh, I didn't have two of them. It was my draw for turn. <laughs> Touche. Well, set a couple more cards. I've risked all and lost. All my tuners are dead. My only good synchro is equipped to a uh, thing. Okay, so uh, now we are going to see... One of the downsides to my unbeatable Thousand Eyes Restrict setup. Uh, and that is, I can't do shit either. So, I suppose I will attack into your monster and see if I can just get a freebie. Uh, seems unlikely. What the fuck is this card? Son of a Fire bitch! Fire-advancing ferret. You saw this last time. Okay, well, I didn't think that it would actually come up. Uh, deciding what <laughs> I want to do in main phase two here, and I think the answer is nothing. Go ahead. Yay. Alrighty, alrighty. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and summon your good old friend, Guru. There he is. There he is. He's a boy. He's got a big tail with, like, a mace on the end of it that's purple. That's weird. Oh, we're just going for it, huh? Yeah, sure. Yep. I'll take, I got uh, much I could do. a lot of damage here. Main phase two, cry. Mm-hmm. All right, how do I want to do this? Holy shit! Well, if you thought you had a bunch of busted ass cards in your deck, let me introduce you to my good friend, Graceful Fucking Charity. Touche. Draw three cards, discard two. Yes, That's one sir. more card than Pot of Greed. Wow. Oh, why do they let cards like this get printed? <laughs> okay, well, uh, I think I'm going to go for the Book of Moon out my hand and the Heavy Storm as well. Uh, wow. Which should give you an idea of what's lurking. Uh, we're going to go for Tether Wolf here. So when I summon Tether Wolf, I get to summon a token to my side of the field. Of course. And oh, I have to control another sub tear. Okay. Yeah, it's not a quick effect yet. Uh, I am going to Link Row into Great Fly. Now, Great Fly How hilariously great. gives himself 500, and l your monster loses 500. I'm aware of how math works. You don't have to be telling me. And then I'll summon Indigo Eclipse to this zone that has two <laughs> monsters in it. Well. Combat. Okay, so how much damn. do I want to play around the uh, the stupid-ass trap card? I think not at all. No, you already got my jelly cannon. I don't have any other trap cards. No, you're lying. I know that you didn't have trap cards in here last week because you were playing around Redoer, but this week, I think you probably came prepared with a little more than fucking double torrential pass. Yeah, I got jelly cannon. Oh, yeah, well. Smile. <laughs> um, all right. We're going to set this. We're going to set this, unfortunately, and your move, holy man. 
All right. Uh, well, um, I'm kind of hoping this is the end of the game. Uh, I'm going to, I suppose, just go to combat here. A uh, great fly into the set card. <sighs> I didn't want to be doing this, but you forced my hand. I'm gonna have to dinomiscus. Targeting get rid of the my great fly. great fly. God, that's terrible. Uh, but also, I understand. Yeah. What'd you I can't have you recovering the tether wolf and doing more things. Ooh, dark dust spirit. Isn't that yep. something? We're gonna he's get dark. He's though. dusty. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> it might be a little too early for hand traps. Just <sighs> a might bit. Um, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let me see. And also... Welp, that's fine. We're good. All right, uh, end step, I am going to do nothing, actually. I'll draw for turn. Huzzah. Perfect. Okay, uh, we're going to wing blast, discarding hammer shot to target your monster. Um, okay, I will summon the Paleozoic. Yep. <laughs> Hello, I'm a Paleo. Woo! <laughs> and now... The worst play that I've ever done. I'm going to crack down your Paleozoic. <laughs> and uh, well, see if I can't get in there. Well, touche, sir. I mean, there's not much I can say about that. <laughs> uh, was it a good play? No. Did it win me the game? Yes. And that means that, it in wanted... fact, it was the best play. It's so weird. This is surprisingly fast-paced, but... Not fast-paced enough for D.D. Crow to be good. <laughs> okay, so this is actually really bad news. Um, I was expecting your deck to not be good. Uh, but you, like, are generally just playing Subterror and Dino <laughs> Wrestlers. And I'm over here like, ooh, Pyramid Turtle seems like a pretty good card. Pyr I would kill for a Pyramid <laughs> Turtle. I've been trying to get zombies. Oh, my God. Oh, man, there was shit like this. I can't even... I saw you picked up a couple of Unizombies. Um, I don't know if you've been following along with my chronicles of opening sets, but are you two attempting to go in on King of the Skull Servants at some point? Uh, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Possibly. I don't I don't recall you pulling any other skull servant stuff. Uh no, just King One Scully Lady in White double Unizombie. I need the fucking oh, white prince. You got Lady in White? I did, yes. <laughs> I have uh I think two white prints and no lady in white. Son of, oh, do you want to trade, buddy? Do you want to trade? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll take a white prince. <laughs> oh my god. But then I wouldn't be able to build yeah, I'll try to do one white prince for one lady in white. How about that? <laughs> uh, probably actually not a particularly good idea for me. Uh, I'm I'm holding out for a couple of white prints, and then let me tell you this. You and I, we're going to have a white genocide. <laughs> I don't know if there's really anything else I want in here. Fuck, that guru is oh. such an issue. Oh! I actually didn't have... didn't help me this time, buddy. I have the funniest board in history. Uh, there's no way this go is good, it. but I'm going to be playing it. <laughs> Okay, I think this time I'm going to go first. Oh, yeah, well, you know, enjoy it. Oh, and I drew it. I drew the fucking card. No way. It's so bad. I'm staring at I can tell it's bad. Okay, I'm going to set a couple. Oh, my God. And I'm going to say your move, holy man. All right, uh, I am going to draw for turn. Piece of shit. I'm going to set two cards three cards you know i should actually just set up the fucking mech knight columns i forgot that i actually play those cards you, you just you couldn't make it symmetrical you had to do the one in the extra monster zone yeah, i yeah, see yeah. how it is um let's see this is not nearly as good as i was hoping it was um well, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and summon Cosmo All, Wicked Witch. Oh, that is really not good. Son of a bitch. I was hoping you would never find cards like this, but that's fine. <laughs> Whatever. We're good. Let's just attack into the uh, the 1900. Okay, so... Uh, what do you got? It is a Pyramid Turtle. Uh, I'm going to summon ah. for my deck, and I am not joking. Patrician of Darkness. <laughs> <laughs> Pfft. 
<laughs> Look at all that attack! You're choosing my attacks then, are ya? I, I, w I, I hope so. <laughs> okay. I still remember I had a friend who was like, uh, I choose for your monster to attack your other monster. That is a classic <laughs> playground staple. Uh, yeah. To be fair, I'll choose the direct. text is very vague. It is a little ambiguous. So, um, yeah. I stole this setup from Gavin in Progression Playoffs. Patrician of Darkness into Spirit Reaper over and over again. A lot less <laughs> good when, you know, we have access to fucking removal spells. Uh, but a little too yeah. funny to pass up. Uh, and DD Crow. Yeah. Instead of Reaper, I think I'm going to go for Cosmic Compass. Summon. Ooh, I've always considered that, and I never had anything to use it for. Well, I do. So I'm going to summon two Compass Tokens. <laughs> <laughs> go for it. One in attack mode. Yeah, right? Man, that is just a frowny boy. Look at that. Wink for a zoom in on that. He's so oh sad. Oh my god, he's, he's, he's <laughs> depressed. <laughs> All right, you fool. It's time for you to face the wrath of my Cleefort genius. I mean, it's still only... It's still less attack than my guy. It is. Uh, but by targeting my Cosmic Compass, I can target your Wicked Witch to make her lose her effects until the end of the turn. Okay. I could still activate. This is like a lingering effect, I'm pretty sure. We're going to find out. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, one way or another. In fact, it is a lingering effect. Son of a bitch. I mean, you did make me pay a thousand, so there's Ooh. that. So who's the real winner of this exchange? Exactly. All right. Well, I don't know. I'll I'll, I'll just walk in with Patrician of Darkness. Okay. Um. You know what? I don't want that, so I am going to Jelly Cannon. Your Patrician of Darkness. He had a good run. Uh, not really true. He didn't have much of a run at all, if I'm being honest. Reversible reverse beetle. beetle. Ooh, that's less good than I think you may have hoped. No. <laughs> My hope for it was that I could use it to summon the, uh, sub-terrors. Because when it's normal summoned, it flips itself face down. That's neat. Uh, the sub-terrors are also kind of crusty in that the summon from hand effects routinely miss timing. So there's a lot it just doesn't work with. Ah, uh, I see. Hmm. Well, I kind of want... I have another monster I could summon, right? I could try to get in for some damage. But I know you have fucking punch in the box. <laughs> and this is also, like, a useful when it's summoned. Ah, uh, so I'm just gonna go in with the Wicked Witch. We're just going to attack. Get over the Cliffort genius. You're not as smart as you think you are. <laughs> what do you got something you could use here buddy thinking about it having yourself a little thunk doing a little mental math i'm gonna book book of moon touche touche books also a little sexy uh it Kind of blanks Cosmo Wicked Witch's payment effect. Yep, I'm gonna go ahead and activate one time passcode. Have I made this joke already? A... Uh, one time ass code. Thank you. That's very <laughs> funny, I know. One time access code, Talker. Right, let's see what we got. It can't do it, has to be summoned in defense position, but your uh, genius can't get over it. That is correct. Uh, let's see if we can get over this set card. You can. Pretty sure. Unless I can activate the damage step? Uh, no. Damage step, maybe? No? No. Nope, oh, okay. nope, nope, nope. All right, good luck, buddy. I think I've got this one just about wrapped up. Uh, we'll see about that, Rabbit. We'll see. I'm going to go ahead. Get over this, finally. Mm. Hopefully. Maybe. Yeah, unfortunately, I, I don't have anything to say to that. Good. Most good, indeed. And then I'm going to go ahead and set a card, just like you. Hmm. In this specific column, don't worry about it. All right, so is that Guru? You would tell me if that is Guru, right? I might. I've considered it. I don't know. The way you're acting, I'm not sure if you deserve it. All right, let's go for a Night Assailant here. I'm going to pop the one-time passcode. <laughs> you're using Night Assailant to pop a token. Um... Oh, you're laughing, but you're gonna negate it, aren't you? 
I am going to decay. <laughs> Son of a bitch. All right, buddy. It's time for you to feel the wrath of the card I boarded in to beat Subterra specifically. When you see this card, I promise you, you're going to come. You, you're literally going to be like, oh my god, I lose the entire game. I tribute Let's summon. See it. Gap the Divine monster. Soldier. Gap forces all monsters into attack <laughs> position and prevents them from changing their battle positions. Touche. <laughs> so, I mean, I guess you, you did it. So I'll attack your guru. Good job. Woo! You got it. I Look can't believe Gap is shoulders. fucking play. <laughs> This I can't. A... You were not running like any tributes, and now suddenly you're like Mr. Tribute up in here. Mr. Tribute? What oh. else do I tribute summon? A oh, Patrician was Fuck. a five star, yeah. Yep. There you go. Um, This sucks. This blows. This has many different things. 2200. I cannot. I cannot. Um, no, buddy, I, I hate to break it to you, but uh, the gap between your uh, skill and mine is just shut on up. Full just shut it up now. <laughs> I'm all in on gap, it's, baby. It's going to be gap I'm, puns from here on out. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that says gape. Oh, no, There's please do not pronounce this card gape. Oh, no, come on. Gape, the div Divian Soldier. No, it's it's gap. Um, please, it's ga It's not gape. <laughs> I can't change this position, can I? Oh, Fuck no, it. you cannot. Oh, oh, no, you cannot. Battle positions cannot be changed, buddy. <laughs> I can't even hide. Run from it. Hide. Gape will be coming. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, nice snow. Why don't you set my monster to face down defense position, you dingbat? And Wait, now it fu can't be changed, I hope. What? Possibly. Why are you allowed to do that? <laughs> um... Ever, I have th I have three Link monsters now. Ooh. I cannot. None of them do anything. Okay. They all have less attack than one time passcode. <laughs> Konami. <laughs> uh, I'm flipping the gap back up. If you don't do something about I know. this gap, <laughs> I'm aware of that. I'm gonna be gaping into the future, buddy. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, uh, uh, I need my big monsters. Return to tops. me. Return to me, Gape the Divine Soldier. Oh, yes. Those of you who subscribe to my OnlyFans know that I'm all always known for my gaping. We're going to attack into the security token here. Okay, that's fine. Take the security token. Uh, I will. Let me just see any of my tribute monsters. Again, Please. I am just, I'm I... all the fucking on Gap. <laughs> I have no other plays. <laughs> It's literally Gap Turbo from this point on. <laughs> you know what? You know what, Joseph? That's that's a good idea. Gap Turbo, very strong. I agree. I think Shit! I might have to... <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch! No! <laughs> let's go ahead and try this. Let's see what kind of traps you got here, buddy. Okay, I've got like eight or nine. Uh, let's go for... Lunch in the box. Okay, let's, uh, seven tools of the bandit that. Whoo, that's a good one, buddy. It is, and I think the attack declaration goes through. You can't activate anything else. That's just the end of it. We're good. Yeah, that's how it works, of course. Uh, yeah, how, why would it work uh, there's differently? There's no other opportunity. No, nothing else to do, yep. Um, hmm. I'm gonna activate Rocket Hand, <laughs> targeting my gap. <coughs> the fuck does this do? Um, equip it, it gains 800 attack. You can send this to target one monster on the field, destroy it. Okay. 3,000. Uh, and then I am going to... I should have waited until the damage step to attack. This is hard. Like my leg. God, I, I hate <sighs> the fucking gradles! <laughs> They love you, buddy. They love stealing those monsters. Right, Just I'm gonna, I'm gonna crack down the eagle. <laughs> I'm gonna steal you, your you, stealer. You, <laughs> you have used three trap cards to get rid of one fucking card. Well, Rocket Hand has accomplished um, less than nothing in my defense. 
Uh, let's go. Yeah. Okay. So thankfully, uh, this card has to be sent from your monster zone to the graveyard. So I'm aware of how it works, but I'm not getting it back. Uh, damn. I had one shot, one opportunity, one spaghetti. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know. I boom, I guess boom, I'll just go to the boom, fucking boom, battle boom, phase. Boom, 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 boom. With your three thousand gap. Just absolutely. But I'm not I don't a gapper. Know why I kept... <laughs> um, let's see. Do I want to activate Fairy Tail Snow? No, I don't think it's particularly doing anything for me. All right. Off we go to the land of the unknown. Oh, that's an. Please summon one, two, three, three more monsters if you would. I'd appreciate it. Uh. <laughs> no. I am gonna right. normal summon Camera Clops here. <laughs> You're playing Camera Clops? Uh, you got a problem with Camera Clops, buddy? I, I, it was a card that I was like, nah, this is too dumb for even me to play. <laughs> no, sorry, this card is penis bad. Dinomicious. Boo, you are such a baby. Hmm. That's the only thing I got, buddy. Ugh, it doesn't Unless even you got work the, the uh, way I want. The fucking, whatchamacallit. What if Seven tools of the bandit. Uh, no, I don't. Ha ha! Goodbye, DD Crow. Get in, my camera clops! I mean, I'm summoning this either way, right? Yeah, I feel like. Might as well. One, <clears throat> two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. You know the worst part is that camera clops doesn't even beat this card. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing if I've got really high. I guess, yeah, I do have a bunch of defense monsters, or I did last time. Mm hmm. Its defense must be higher than this monster's attack. Ah, interesting. Okay. So let's go ahead. Let's attack over Camera Clops. Who could have seen this coming besides every single person who's ever read Camera Clops? I always thought this was a top-tier meta threat, but it appears that it actually sucks ass. Nope. That's what he got. He's got those red shoes. I don't trust him. Whoa. What, what are you trying to say about his getup here? Ooh, that's not a... Trying to say one. shoulder pads with the bandoliers and no shirt? Also, he has a camera for a head. I mean, that's that's something to consider. Oh, but who among us has not gone through a camera phase? Don't talk about among us here. You know that's going to be... <laughs> but, you know what that leads to. By the way, I am so sorry. I, I watched back last episode, and we literally both said, when the X is Y, maybe a hundred times. We just could not oh, yeah. stop fucking saying it. It was like glued it's, to it's us. It's so fun. It is. Uh, you have more than one recruiter? Uh, I have exactly more Fuck. than one. I'm going to go for Cyber Valley here. <laughs> All right. When the Cyber is Valley, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a weird one. All right. Let's go Cyber Valley. Oh, no. That's not what I meant to do. That's fine. We'll just activate it. Uh, okay. I'll allow it. <laughs> what? Um... <gasps> Target one card in your graveyard, banish both that card and one card from your hand, and then place that target on top of the deck. Okay. You're gonna get gap back. So I thought that I still had gap in my graveyard. <laughs> oh no, okay. Oh shit. Oh yeah, I used Dinomiscus on it. Oh, please don't tease me. Alright, we'll get Pyramid Turtle. <laughs> oh buddy, you better kill me this turn, because you've got another thing coming. This turtle is coming back. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna Nobleman of Extermination, whatever this you is. You have got to be fucking with me. You hit my quaking, uh, buddy. You hit uh -huh! my quaking. Okay, so you are still playing that dumb shield thing. And you got a Raigeki and a Heavy Storm? Yeah, it's, it, it was a Man, sick one. I thought, I thought my shit was good. Okay, let's go ahead and get Guru. Oh, I'm actually losing this game. Oh, I can't believe I'm actually fucking losing this game. Um, let me think about this. What do I... Um, you could send this, then target one sub tear, negate the activation, change it face down. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Yeah, sounds correct. In the, the battle, in the land of no negates, the man with one negate is king. I can't believe this has happened. Wait, let me rephrase that. I can very much believe that this has happened. <laughs> 
Chaos Draft! I should have just waited on the Cyber Valley. I'm the dumbest man to ever live. <laughs> Could have drawn a card, blanked the whole battle phase. Oh, but I finally found a fucking spell card. All right, time for you to meet your maker. It's uh, Indigo Eclipse time, buddy. All right. Um, we can attack into the Guru. Uh, yeah, let's do that. You sure you don't want to try to activate something first? <laughs> you know, I'm actually good. Uh, yeah, fine. Let's let's activate Indigo Eclipse here. Oh, okay. Um, I appreciate it. Sure. So, Fiendess doesn't destroy, uh, just negates, so I won't move. I'll still get to attack the Guru. You get the proc, but I don't think you have anything else that really scares me. It's all, like, big assholes who don't do anything. For the most part. Stygio Kraken. Set cards on the yes. field equal to the number of behemoths you control. Sure. I guess if you want to, you could maybe tribute summon this card. <laughs> I could. I could do exactly that. Oh, In fact, fine. I could tribute set it, and it has more defense than you do. It does. So, I think I'm fine. Thank you. I really appreciate you activating something like that. Whoa. That's an interesting one. What, are you going to flip it up? Hmm. I can't now. I don't have no, like, quick effect flip. Is there even a card that does that? I guess if I had final battle. God, I'm very glad you don't have final battle. Now is our final battle. <laughs> Um, and this can't flip itself back face down or anything. Yes. Unless I brought back Fairy Tail Snow or something. Stygio oh, is not very good, no. Nope. Ooh, that is interesting. Now that's an interesting one. Fucking hmm. Indigo Eclipse. It's one of those things, even back in the first season, we're like, as soon as one of us gets any of the good Mech Knights... We're, we're going to be in trouble. For what it's worth, Indigo um, Eclipse isn't necessarily a good mech knight. He just sit, he sits here. You know, he's just a guy. Yeah. But, I mean, he had. it's better than, like, yellow, right? Like, yellow yeah. is like, oh, I could summon it and it has 1,100 attack. It's a little better than yellow, yes. Hmm. Yellow or green or... Like, most of them just don't have high enough attack to make them worth summoning. And their levels aren't conducive to, like, synchros. They're all too high. Uh, Unless you've got, like, I don't know, glow-up bulb or something. I'm going to normal good witch here. Are you going to flip more of my monsters face down? Yeah, I, I think that that's actually the winning game plan, is uh, to flip all of your sub terror monsters face down, right? Ah, I see. Well, I appreciate you having more monsters than me. <laughs> mm hmm That's fine. Um, let's see here. You can... Equal to the number of... It has to be sub terror Behemoth. Yeah. Specifically. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hmm. Wow, that's not anything good. Well, pff, we're still going to flip it up. Sure. We're going to take out one of your back row. Okay, that was good for me. Uh, I get to p hit the pank here forces you to trade for the indigo eclipse like a little early maybe um i'm gonna activate bad aim bad aim <laughs> and we're gonna destroy that sure and then we're gonna panker tops because it's gonna die anyway and we're gonna get rid of the good witch uh, but did you expect this? I'm going to activate Indigo Eclipse, <laughs> and I'm going to uh, move him over very slightly. I'm going to move slightly to the left. All right, well, whatever. And then I'm going to activate Reborn the Monster Son on my of a Dino Vessel Oh, Pancratops. my God. Oh, I'm dead here. Guess <laughs> what, bitch, I lived. <laughs> you pulled a Monster Reborn, too? Exactly 1400! Uh, Stygio Kraken, my friend! <laughs> oh, you're not gonna let him get the. This is the only time in history Stygio Kraken has attacked anyone. Not even oh, gonna let him have. <laughs> Jesus, that was true pain. True pain, true suffering. Um, okay, I guess I'm gonna put this in. Man, that bad. Chat tried to convince me so much that bad aim was good, and I was like, it's bad. No, bad it's in the name. Great. Bad aim's fantastic. Yeah, clearly. No debating. 
Um, okay, I'm getting rid of fucking Reverser Beetle. Fuck that shit. Whoa, That's... hey, whoa, 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 buddy. Let's not talk shit on Reverser Beetle over here. Reverser Beetle, he just... Uh, Listen, Reverser he just, Beetle... He doesn't work the way... He's a good friend of mine. He's fallen on hard times. You know, it would really mean a lot if you kept him in your deck. Uh, <laughs> he's seen zero play since his release. I, I just... As a personal to favor. Do I have anything that outs fucking Gap the Divine Soldier? You did a pretty good job that time. Um... You know what? We're going to put this in, of all things. And we're going to take that out. Okay. There we go. We're fine. All right. Ooh, uh, I hearts think... beaten. I didn't think I had a chance in that one. Uh, that was close. I definitely played the Cyber Valley turn like a fucking dipshit, and uh, <laughs> we're not going to do that again. From here on out, we're playing perfectly. Son of a bitch! Give me a drink. Hmm. Well, I've got all the tech cards and no gas. Some gas would be nice, please. All right. Uh, really boring turn. We're gonna go Tetherwolf effect into a token into Great Fly. Uh, How good is it? It's great. It's a great fly. We're gonna set one pass. You're good, buddy. Who would argue against it? Um. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm glad you put something because that means this guy's gone. Let's just get rid of. No, this guy's gone. Let's... How many things is this? Uh, five? One, two, three, four, and... Um, Wait, are you about I to summon Eater of Millions? <laughs> Buddy! <laughs> Possibly? Son of a gun. Okay. When the Eater is billion... <laughs> God damn it, you've reminded me. Yeah, I know. Okay, and now if this is punch in the box, it is the ultimate punish. It is not. Anytime I have two monsters on field. Yeah, and let's just stop you from recurring your resources so I can get in with 1,900. Jeez, that's terrible. Oh, that's so bad for me. There we go. And you have Heavy Storm, so it's like... Uh, do I really want to set more than anything? I don't know if I can beat More than one feelings. thing? This guy's an asshole. Um... You know what, we're going to set one, and then we'll pass it over to you. Okay. Oh, I don't man. think I have to worry about that at the moment. Oh, this is rough. Okay, I'm going to go for Gale the Whirlwind here. Okay. Going to have Eater's Attack? <laughs> no. Cosmo, is that permanent? It is permanent. <laughs> Not that I think it matters too much. Oh, you're not going to attack? Attack what? You can attack over Wicked Witch. I'm good. It forced me to do some damage. Um. Hmm. Well, I mean, I guess, why not? Okay. Banish your dude. It's uh, the only thing I could do. This is not ideal. I'm going to rocket hand my <laughs> Gale. Uh, does that do anything? What? Why can't I rocket hand? You can only use one rocket hand effect per turn! <laughs> oh my god! I'm- I'm fuming, dude. I can't believe how fucking stupid I am. I, when I lose this one, it's gonna be because of my own, uh, hubris. So what, what I tell people in, uh, what a deck all the time, it's like, you know, even when uh, even when things see in seem insurmountable, sometimes you win and sometimes your opponent loses. Oh my god. Never underestimate people's ability to make mistakes. Jesus Christ. Especially I mean, to be fair, this this is a thing where like you're playing with forty cards, thirty of which you've probably never played before or seen in a game before. Wow, I just Yeah, I have to pass here. <laughs> Okay. Um. All right. I mean, the good thing about Eater of Millions, as powerful as he is, is that uh, you're not taking much damage. Yeah, it is a slow death, but it is a death nonetheless. I'm just, a I'm just winding up for millions. the. Uh, I'm winding up for the uh, self-destruct button. 
This is all the long play so that when you write Geki me, you'll hit me for everything. Oh, God, can you imagine? All right, uh, I'm going to summon Indigo Eclipse. Um, that is unfortunate. Okay. Uh, I go so ahead. what's with all the uh, the cards these days that have little asterisks like the above text is unofficial and describes this card's functionality in the OCG? Uh, I think it has to do a lot with like regional differences not being reflected in Edo Pro, but you know I could be wrong. Guru, son of a bitch, you've got to be kidding me. Guru, he's guru. All right. Uh, my pun game is not at its top, but when you, you have cards this good, you don't need it. Okay, so we're going to grab Speliogeist, actually. Oh my god. And then what we're going to do is we're going to activate this, flip down Wicked Witch. Okay, I'm still with you. That's... When a face-up monster you control is flip face... Are you telling me Guru's effect... Oh, thank God. ...does not... It misses timing with its own archetype? No, uh, you control a monster that's face-up. Oh, and you control no face-up. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I miss, I just thought it was like, when it was flipped face down, you get to summon this. No, buddy. I was like, oh, hey, awesome. We are not playing at, at full capacity here. <laughs> well, Clearly. either way. Yeah. I have a Wicked Witch, and her attack is back. She's back in black. I hit the sack. It's been so long I'm glad to be back, and I let loose like a moose. Yup. And then I attack directly for... Oh, wait, you have a monster. I do. When did that happen? Okay. Mm. <laughs> Scapegoats? Oh, come on, I can't. Oh, not in the damage You're step. You're right, no torrentialing. I would not torrential four tokens unless, I don't know, what... Do you have fucking, um... <laughs> I've got some stuff. <laughs> oh, shit. Um... Yeah, let's... Do we set another card? Do we pretend to set another card? Um... Okay. Capitera. Oh. I can't send you to the graveyard. Okay, we've all made mistakes before. There's no reason to call Please, just one like time, Regeki. I'm begging you. One time, Regeki. Okay, what do you have? The fucking... The, uh, I can't remember its name. It's not a Boral load, but it's used by that same guy. Whatever his name is. Pistol Man. Uh... The Pistol Pugilist. The pistol Pete. Um, I mean, I, okay. Well, now I can activate it. Yeah. Get that out of here. That's fine. <laughs> and nothing to say about that. Nope, not quite. Oh, you're just straight up playing, playing. Oh, you're just playing subter. Oh, you're just straight up I'm playing. I'm just playing subter. I wonder what you'll. I wonder what you'll ban this month. <laughs> mm. You know, I was thinking. I was like. You know, sub terrors. If they ever become good, he could ban Guru. He could ban <laughs> Gravity Bind. Yeah. Gravity Bind, yep. Joseph. What are you trying? <laughs> um, it just negates. It doesn't destroy. Well, fuck. Okay, fine. If you want to play under Gravity Bind, I guess we will. I do very much. Uh, we can still get rid of a token. Why does this fucking three-star monster have 1,600 attack? Can you please answer that for me? <laughs> it was printed after 2016, when they stopped caring about stuff like that. Yeah, I think so. Um, do I... What do I got here? Um, sure, I mean, if they can't attack... Oh, wait, he can still negate stuff, though, right? Um... What do you got in your graveyard? Fucking nothing? Nothing. Let's go ahead and just normal summon DD Crow then. It's very, very unnecessary. And we're gonna use Crow and... Oh, it has to be all. Well... Ah, eh, fuck it. He can't attack anyway. 
Oh, it's it's the girl. Summon Ausa the Earth Charmer. Oh, she doesn't have a level. She's pretty neat. Nope. That's unfortunate for me. Your gravity bind means nothing to Ausa. Oh, fuck. Okay, um... God, this is hard. Also, I thought you were going to Link Summon. I was planning on it, but, uh... <laughs> Turns out you can't make stuff with tokens. Things have not been going my way this game. I'm trying to remember what... I can, why can't for the life of me... I it, Like, every time something's summoned, it wipes the field, and it had that infinite loop, and its tail is shaped like an infinity, and it's a dark dragon with 3,000 attack. Topological I can remember bomber? everything about it. Yes! Topological bomber dragon. Oh, I would kill for a you, bomber dragon. I think it's a common... In what? I, we... <laughs> hmm. I think we. Uh, let me look that up real quick. Mm -hmm. Topological bomber dragon, B seventeen bomber. In King's Court. Oh no, it's like a rare. Okay. I just thought it was a common because Dual Logs had one last time, and you can make it with a bunch of normal monsters and shit. Mm-hmm. Jeez, this is uh this is rough, buddy. I had no idea Eater of Millions was so strong. Yeah, he's like unbeatable in limited formats. <laughs> Last time it was just like, oh, it's a nice Eater of Millions, just crash two monsters. The first one you're gonna lose, but the other one you'll be fine. I don't have two monsters to crash, um, buddy. <laughs> two monsters with over eight hundred attack. And I could I could summon the sub terror, but what would be the point? It'd have even less attack. Um, and you have more monsters than me, so let's just uh, stop whatever this is. It's face down. It's gonna remain face down. Mm-hmm. Get rid of a token. Get rid of another token. I'm struggling to think what I even would be able to draw at this point that would equalize things. Um, Storming Mirror Force or Raigeki. Those would both be Either of those would be pretty good at the moment. That is not one of them. If you've got a Dark Hole. Wow. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I, I feel bad, Joseph. I'm sorry. No, you do what you got to, buddy. You do what you have to. You do what you do to get by. Son of a bitch. And then you need a release. Oh. I just want to get my gosh. negate back on board. I can't use it, but yeah. I, I can't use it to attack, but. Yep, and you know what? You you threw me a bone kind of last time. You activated the thing when you didn't have to. Let's attack this with something other than. Oh, I, I really appreciate that, buddy. I'm going to go for Shining Angel here. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm curious. What the hell could you get? I'm getting Cyber Valley. <laughs> I fucking... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> fucking Cyber Valley. I'm not even going to use the effect. I'm just going to attack with Eater of Millions. <laughs> Try to. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, Why God. not? Oh, that ends the whole battle phase? It does, yeah. Fuck. Um... Well, you know what? I can't be too nice. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be fucking with me, Jerry! <laughs> now, if you have any more, um, okay, mech knights or whatever. Okay. <laughs> Seven. I've got, I've got some plays, but they are few and far between. All right. I'll just replace it with another one. Yeah. Go ahead. Mmm, that's exactly what I like to see. Oh? Alright. Never throw me a bone, motherfucker. I'm gonna banish two lights in the dark for Chaos Dragon Levianir. Um. Well, I mean, I've gotta, I've gotta negate that. Yep, sounds about right. Can't allow you to do stuff like that. Uh, to the battle Good phase. Good luck attacking. And to the second main phase. <laughs> That's not even my fault. That's your own gravity bot. Welp, touche. Welp, it's been nice knowing you, good sir. You had a chance. It was a nice fine time. Unless this is fucking punch in the box again. Oh, could you imagine? Uh, it is... I'm not even sure what that does. Down. So I'm going to take your monster. Maybe. 
Um, okay, but I'm going to bad aim to blow up your monster. That's annoying as shit. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get rid of that at least. Although now you have the eater, which means if I want to survive, I have to ram my dinosaur into it. Oh, okay. Uh, so you've done this in a very strange way that has allowed me to hallucinogenica your monster. <laughs> and now it's just uh, not... <laughs> it's just not big enough, baby. That's fine. I've got uh, Mika Jour. Fuck! How right. can you do this? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. No, let's talk this over, We're getting buddy. in, and it, it would be game if you didn't have that fucking gravity bomb. Okay, all right, okay. God is my witness. I I need a miracle here. <laughs> Holding out for a miracle. Um, let's flip the guru? Yeah, you do whatever you want. I, there's nothing I can do about this. I have no, I have St Stigio crack. It's going to come back. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, He's you got it. He's here again to help. Okay, there you go. Um, oh, I don't know if that's going to do it, buddy. <laughs> I mean, I've only got one monster that can attack at this point, so... Um, well, you know what? Just in case, let's... I mean, these can't attack anyway. So just in case, that's like a storming mirror force. Or... Oh, wait, storming mirror force wouldn't even hurt this. Not no, only, just... not only would storming mirror force not hurt this. It's exactly <laughs> quaking mirror force. Like it's the only <laughs> fucking monster in your deck that it doesn't affect. Yeah! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh. Holy shit! How could this I have can't... happened? I my plan was perfect <laughs> except for the part where I played good cards. <laughs> Those first two duels were so close that that third... Like, just so oh. you know, I'm sitting on, like, Needle Ceiling, Called by the Grave, oh, Torrential expected. Tribute, I knew BS I was Blaster. Here. Well, like, son of a... The fuck? Bitch. What happened? Did you just... Did you just brick, or I guess what... I don't know what all those face-down cards were. Uh, I, 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 I rolled into a bunch of monsters that were really bad against Eater of Millions, unfortunately. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you know, I basically used my entire hand trying to get Scapeghost to resolve and uh, <laughs> couldn't make it happen, Captain. Uh, Scapeghost Ooh. is really good if I keep the tuner or I, uh. or I have another monster I can use to make Link material in order to go into oh, okay. Berserker of the Tenyi. But it's really bad if you keep banishing my fucking monsters <laughs> face down! <laughs> Oh, so son of a bitch. I have a feeling I know what you might want to ban. This is I don't know, so, so this obviously is that was the most annoying thing, but it's just a one of in my deck and you could get one of them. Yeah, I yeah. So here's the problem. Obviously I want to ban Eater of Millions, but I also <laughs> want to ban Dino Wrestler Pankratops. Uh, I also oh, want to ban. Don't have one yet either. Don't have one. Also want to ban Monster Reborn. I also want to ban uh, Torrential Tribute, which you have two of. Uh, which I didn't resolve this entire time. Jesus Christ! I'm over here trying to weasel together Patrician of Darkness and Spirit Reaper. You're over here fucking playing 2021 Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> oh my god. There's just too much to hit. What are my other options? It's it's ban or I, I take off one of your limbs. That's an option, right? <laughs> no, I think I think we just kept it to the ban this Fuck. time. Alright, um I mean I guess if you really want to we could uh we could bring back the option to steal. No, no. If you'd rather take the Eater of Millions no. than uh ban it. No, I, I don't like but the concept could... of stealing. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like I could just make my deck really crazy by taking all of your good shit. God damn. You could until I banned it. So shockingly. Or stole it back. I think the answer is not Eater. I have confidence in my ability to find, you know, removal. I think I just had a bad <laughs> series of draws. Uh, I am playing removal. The Quaking Mirror Force that is uselessly set on my side of the field could have beat Eater. <laughs> um, uh... I don't think it's I know either. you have power cards. Again, you, you're the only one who has Raigeki and Heavy Storm, and you just did not get into either of them this this entire episode. Well, uh, in my defense, I did find Heavy Storm last game, uh, but you killed me. I think it's <laughs> either Pankratops 
or torrential. Hmm. And as stupid well, as I mean, it you is, don't have to decide now if you want to make people tune in next episode. No. I don't need people to tune in. You <laughs> see, hard leg. We've got a sample size of three games, right? Exactly. We've got a yeah. sample size of one game with Pankratops. But you know what else we've got? <laughs> we've got a first season of Chaos Draft. And I saw for a fucking fact just how good Pankratops can be. I don't have any of this card. I have no faith in the YGO Pro deck shuffler. I'm banning that motherfucker. Back to the Stone Age, single most powerful common ever released. There it goes. <sighs> Pankratops away to join the Time Thief Redoer and the uh, whatever the Unchained Abomin. I forget its name. And the stuff from last time. So there it goes, and of course you'll get three three bonus pity packs next time. Which will be, by the way, we have a lot of people confused about what the schedule is. So I want to bring up real quick, this series is every other week. I have two shows, this and what a deck, and I alternate between the two. For now. I've been talking with MBT, and he's agreed that if I can get this channel to 50,000 subs, then he can, he'll be willing to do this every single week. And we could start it up as a regular series. So I'm pretty close. I'm at like 39,000 now. So like a, a, another 11,000. That's not that big for Yu-Gi-Oh! That, MBT has more subs than that. <laughs> I, I just want to say, do you people fucking understand what just happened? Do you Can you <laughs> conceive for one second the miracle of modern Yu-Gi-Oh!ism that you just watched? <laughs> Hard Leg Gaming, a man unironically playing Michi Zure overcame the greatest card ever printed, Gape the Divine Soldier, to defeat the most powerful deck in the history of time, Patrician of Darkness Turbo. If that isn't worth 12,000 subscriptions, well, I don't fucking know what is. I mean, yeah, so <laughs> tell your friends, tell your family, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, good luck. You know what? Have fun. Well, ladies and folks, another episode down, another Chaos Coin in my pocket. I'm really gonna have to remember to use those next time. Regardless, welcome to the end credits, where I read off the names of all the cool people who donated $25 or more to my Patreon during the month of July. Their names are Davon Crushin, Tiberius Kane Moriarty, Yellow, Yami, Austin Glover, Chris W, Death's Dancer, Mark Jackson, Munchrai, RPK96 Joestar, CD Games, Chris Kessler, Dancing Joker, Diotic, Matt, Muffin Fiend, Nathan, Nerozard22, Nightfang, Penumbra Eterna, Kirvin, Quintingent, ReaperX121, Death, Sean Griggs, Tayo no Kitsune, 3 do 9 and if Trevor If you'd like to join this list at the end of the episodes, the Patreon link should be on the screen and linked down in the description. This show is funded mostly by Patreon, so any amount you could give would really help, even if it's less than 25. Regardless, thanks for watching this far, and until next time, stay frosty, Legos.